Hi there, Pisces. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for the collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces for the week of June 20th. If this one doesn't resonate, and it might not, uh, go ahead and check out your Moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. If you'd like your own private reading, you can find all of my information down below in the description box. We're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe for me. I post weekly on YouTube. And if you want the extended reading, click the join button down below or look for the link in the description box. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. Okay, so I do think there was a breakup here. We have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. You could have had a break from somebody. You could have just pulled back your energy. There could have been an actual formal breakup here. And I think that you have been waiting for this person. Um, maybe the ball has been in their court. There's a lot of time symbolism showing up here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. That's Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. So you could have been dealing with one of the fixed signs. Wheel of Fortune is sometimes about divine timing. Fate, destiny, good luck, good fortune. Um, and it's showing up with the lovers here. Now that is Major Arcana for Gemini. So you very well could be dealing with the Gemini here. But if this is your reading, I think this is your person. You feel it's it's your person. They feel like you're their person. And I don't know, for whatever reason, things haven't been going the way that they should have. Maybe the two of you had a fight. Maybe there was something else going on here. But you've waited for this person to kind of get themselves together. We have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. Maybe they needed to grow. Maybe you needed to grow a little bit. We've got the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in. This also could have been a long distance relationship, but it's about being patient. And we've got the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. So you could have been dealing with the Sag. I would also say this person may have had one foot in, like you see one foot in the water, one foot on land, and one foot out of this relationship. This person may have been a little bit wishy-washy in the past, but they're bringing balance here. They're bringing patience. Um, I think it's finally time for the two of you to be together. Uh, let's check their energy a little bit closer and we'll see what comes out. All right, here's what we have so far. This is the modern witch tarot, and I'm going to be using the light seers tarot to clarify in a second. So we've got more fixed sign energy here, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo with the world. The world is the ending of an era. It's the end of a cycle. It's the very last card in the major arcana. It's more about like leveling up, learning lessons, moving on to the next state, um, moving on to the next kind of level almost of a being and it's showing up here with the star more Aquarius energy some of you could be um, Pisces Aquarius cusps just saying the stars being wishful being hopeful for some of you you may have manifested this you may have asked the universe for it that card can be wishing on a star and I think what you're getting here is a brand new love cycle Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. It's falling in love with someone. This is beautiful energy. I feel like your person maybe has leveled up. Maybe they've learned some lessons and grown. Maybe you have as well. By the way, there's a lot of long distance um, relationship vibes coming out here. Eight of Wands is also movement. It's momentum. It's messages coming in. The eights are about like accomplishment, um, mastery of a situation, um, taking action. We have the eight of cups in reverse, which is someone who hasn't been able to emotionally detach from you. There are a lot of cups here. Cups are about feelings. They're about how we show up in relationships. This person has some serious feelings for you, and maybe they're beginning to realize that. Maybe that was a lesson that they needed to learn. Two of cups is a partnership. 
it's finding a life partner. You're both offering a cup to each other. You're on the same page. You're seeing eye to eye. You want the same things. And what that is, is commitment with the four of wands. It's taking a relationship to the next level. It may be even like moving into a home together or sharing your home with someone. Also like physically moving here. Four of wands can sometimes mean a homecoming. Um, it's stability. It's connection. Um, it also has to do with like some house energy here. The two of you could be getting a house together. Let's clarify this and see what comes out. So what is going on with this person? What's going on with this situation? All right, we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. That's self-limiting behavior, self-sabotage. You can see like she views herself as tied and bound, but in reality, she's not. Uh, her perception in the mirror is wrong. I do think that maybe this person was blinded. Maybe they didn't see everything that they quite had here. Maybe they didn't see maybe their own behaviors here. So we also have the Ace of Swords. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart. Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning. It's a revelation. It's a victory card. Um, maybe this person needed to cut out some things that were holding them back. Sometimes that Ace of Swords is about slicing through things, getting rid of things that don't serve us. Whether it's bad habits or, you know, toxicity, maybe it was other relationships in their lives that were pulling them down. What is going on with this person? We've got the page of pentacles and that's an offer coming someone giving you their time their effort their energy um, someone seeing this relationship is valuable they want to work on it they want to give to it we've got the tower as well so there's a lot of fixed sign energy that is major arcana for scorpio the tower is destruction for the sake of creation uh, it's getting rid of obstacles. It's tearing down um, anything that would stand between the two of you here. I don't know whether it was an external barrier, whether it was internal with this person, but something came down or something is coming down right now. We'll do one more card here, and then I want to pull a card for how this person feels about you. What is going on with this person? Hmm. Well, we actually got two here. We've got the Queen of Cups showing up and the Four of Wands. Queen of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with the water sign. Queen of Cups is also someone being very loving, very open with you, highly intuitive as well. And the Four of Wands coming home stability. That's sometimes the engagement party card, um, taking things up to the next level here. So I really love the energy here. It's, it's pretty good. Um, I think that maybe you are questioning whether or not you should be patient here, whether or not this was ever going to happen. And here it is. All right, let's do how this person is feeling about you currently. How does this person feel about Pisces currently? What are the current feelings for Pisces? Hmm, we got the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is taking a break. It's needing to rest. It's needing to heal. 
Um, it's a sense of like, I need to get my thoughts together. I need to examine my own feelings here. I feel this break was needed. Um, this person was probably working on something internally. Could have been external as well, but there is some sort of a blockage I think that this person was dealing with. So you've been patient here, you've given them time, and I do think that that was completely necessary in this situation. And I think your patience is about to be rewarded here. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for me since I post weekly. If you want your own reading, you can find that information down below. If you would like the extended reading, click the join button or look for the link in the description box. Uh, we're going to be delving into this person's feelings, their intentions, and the advice for you. All right. Blessed be.